Cam Thomas. Going to get a lot of shots tonight, one would think. Here's Robin Lopez, the soft touch inside. And when you look at Gary Harris, and we're going to try and break down the ultra aggressive, you know, early in this game. And if I had to pick a guy that was going to lead this game in scoring, Patty Mills would be number one on that list. Well, we saw him before the game, guys. He was so fired up as Mills off on the three. He was going up and down, fist bumping anybody who could say, we're all in it. He was going up and down, fist bumping anybody who could say, we're all in it tonight. We're all in it tonight. As the layup drops in for Harris. Wagner pushing pace. In the corner, catch fire, no for Harris. Offensive rebound, Orlando, and another chance here. That's without Claxton, without Aldridge, without Dayron Sharp, without Millsap, without James Johnson. Nice D there from Shaq Harrison. Nets bench up to applaud it. A 13 to Orlando run. Nice first step there from Duke. Found the cutter in Harrison. Seven to shoot. Harrison speeds in and throws it away. Yeah, there's 24 other players on my chart that are no longer here that are game time. <laughs> they were game time decisions. That's been a good sign with Blake finding a stroke a little bit from three over these last couple games. Oh, and taking the and we know he can do that. That's going to be a charge. That's been a good sign with Blake finding a stroke a little bit from three over these last couple games. Oh, and taking the and we know he can do that. That's going to be a charge. Average 16 and a half points per over the last two to go with that defense. On the attack, Harrison finds Galloway falling away and hitting. And a foul here going to go against Brooklyn. Three seconds left in the quarter. Harrison gets it off. Can't float it in. And that'll do it for the first lowest scoring first quarter for the Nets this season. Orlando Magic can run a bunch of zone. And a lot of that is to try and keep guys out of foul trouble. Grab it, fires no, Harrison there. Teaching him how to be that professional scorer like we talked about, and he's got the potential to do so. Yeah, he does. These are valuable minutes. When you get an opportunity to get extra minutes early on in your career, that's when I would get my start. And so, like, you got to use whatever opportunities, why, why ever they are presented to you, you got to maximize that. And, and work on stuff that he's been working on his entire game. Sets up Duke on a three off the mark. Edwards boxed out. <laughs> Left wing three is good. Orlando hitting their looks from downtown early. By the way, Richard, we looked it up. Nine starts for you your rookie year. Uh -huh. And then 80 and 82 the next two years. Yeah, no big deal. Uh -uh. Harrison speeds by and lays it in. We talk about the evolution of the game. Back in the day, you used to play all 82. You might play 40 a night. Will Chamberlain has the record for most minutes. He played He played 48 minutes a night. We talk about the evolution of the game. Back in the day, you used to play all 82. You might play 40 a night. Will Chamberlain has the record for most minutes. He played, he played 48 Eight minutes a night. Talk about the evolution of the game. Back in the day, you used to play all 82. You might play 40 a night. Will Chamberlain has the record for most minutes. He played. He played 48 minutes a night. Talk about the evolution of the game. Back in the day, you used to play all 82. You might play 40 a night. Will Chamberlain has the record for most minutes. He played. He played 48 minutes a night. Kendall Gill, you have the record by one minute over Kendall Gill. Not that I knew about that. Definitely not, definitely not the Devin Harris error. Hey. That, that error was trash. Hey, easy. Hey. He's so kind to his friends. <laughs> Griffin lines it up. Doesn't get that one. Galloway, the offensive rebound. To the corner. Harrison can't hit the three. Griffin, the old board. Mulder gives it up. Lopez goes to that hook. Couldn't hit it. Lopez, over to Harris, who buries the three. No, no, no. It was not a travel, and I got fouled. Yeah, I think I'd like to focus on the travel. <laughs> Gary Harris able would. to cup it up and in. As we all get older, and you got two retired guys sitting over here, you have to adapt or, or, or you know, adapt or die. Like, that's part of the evolution of the game, as your athleticism might change, as your role might change. His three-point shot has not been consistently falling, so he does kind of a short roll and allows him to drive and attack. But again, Lopez.
Backdoor cut, Mulder flings it back out. Here's Harris stopping, popping, can't hit. Lopez, another offensive rebound, missed the putback. They don't have the firepower to fight back in that fourth quarter, so they really got to make a stance to get back in this game as Patty Mills almost makes another three. Blake goes flying, looking for the foul, nothing there. The old NBA, there is no way on God's green earth that you would be four for 28 from three with one free throw. Like, that's not the proper balance, especially if the threes aren't dropping. Well, I got a question for you, Richard, with the way that they're calling the game now. Save your questions till the end. Save your questions till the end. Don't talk to me like I'm a child. <laughs> I'm a grown man here. Okay. Grown. A lot of free throws aren't being called right now, so I think with the way that is, a lot more three-point shots because people don't want to go in there without getting the fruit to the labor of getting to the foul line. No, I, I agree, but four for 28 from three means that, you know, maybe we should try something different. Like that. Finish it. Nets with just eight available players. The Magic with nine. Three of the Nets available players were not on the roster three days ago. Thomas gets rejected. Am I allowed to say damn? Yeah, but not again. Lopez again to the hook. Now, because of the changing circumstances, they feel like, hey, it is more acceptable to have a player in a part-time role. They don't have the continuity any longer that they thought. It is more acceptable to have a player in a part-time role. They don't have the continuity any longer that they thought they were going to at the beginning of the season. It is more acceptable to have a player in a part-time role. They don't have the continuity any longer that they thought they were going to at the beginning of the season. They don't have the continuity any longer that they thought they were going to at the beginning of the season. Yeah, I think the whole league doesn't have the continuity that they thought. It's not because you've seen injuries, and a lot of this is because you've had two condensed seasons back to back to back. Magic on the second half of a back to back. Good little hands there from Harrison. Loose ball, bodies dive. Griffin able to snare it, tried to throw it to his teammate. It's been such a grinder for the Nets since coming over last season. Manis will fire, and it's hit from three. Now someone other than Blake has connected on a three. Nets have won four straight, best record in the Eastern Conference. Patty Mills fires. Get in there. And hits. Devin saw the roll coming. From down 17 to down nine. And a foul called here against Harrison. Nets had one to give. Nets had been three for 29 from three. They now hit their last three. He's broken up by Ennis. Here comes Harrison, three on one. Harrison lays it in. He's broken up by Ennis. Here comes Harrison, three on one. Harrison lays it in. A little juice from Brooklyn in this third, an 8-0 run. Crowd getting into it. Ford lines it up. Can't hit. Rebound, Harrison. There are, everyone here is a good athlete. Everyone. But then there are guys that are just athletic and are just a little bit different. 10-0 Brooklyn run. That Ford ends there with a three. Magic lead by eight. Nearly lost it. And it's now in retreat mode. Harris cradles it up and off. Nets with time here. Harrison darting, dishing. Oh. oh. Mills stopped at you the can't wing. Stop. You got to keep running. Never a board a back door cut. All that action happened late in the third as the Nets started to hit shots from three. Here's Harris trying to zip around. Ennis lost it out of bounds. It's off of Harris. So he's shooting an overall good percentage. That's why a player like him will always keep his confidence up regardless of what he's shooting from a certain number. Harris hits the mid-range. Well, well, those were the things that Devin was talking about when you talk oh, about. Oh, look at him. Look at him again. Yeah, steal. comes up with a steal. Duke. Duke. And it's going to stay here. David Duke, Duke. bringing the heat. Yeah, this is David Duke day. 10 points, 11 rebounds, and a rejection from Edwards. Out of bounds off of Orlando. It's Brooklyn ball. He's getting, he, he's about six inches shorter and giving up about 50 pounds. You'd think Blake Griffin probably we'd see again at some point as Okiki gets free for the slam. Here's Lopez. <laughs> Out to Harris, he'll fire, no, rebound, Mills, pause it.
And we talked about it in the first 